how to get your professions uh, up to 25 in less in, than one hour. Uh, this is Darko from the Guild Doom and Neverwinter PS4 um, plug. Anyways, so uh, let's get right down to it. Um, it's really simple, really easy. Um, I apologize. I wish I would have thought to make the video sooner. Um, I had already started doing quite a few of these and then as a you know, a few people were asking me what I was doing and so on and so forth. I realized just how many people didn't realize that this was possible. So, um, but anyways, basically we will push start, go to the Turbulent Trade House. If you have opened quite a few lock boxes and you've gotten the professions packs in there, um, this is yet another reason why you don't want to just get rid of those. Uh, they actually are awesome. Um, so, We'll go to our professions. Um, now what we're looking for, um, depending on what level your profession already is, um, for I think rank one through four, um, you're gonna need bags of gems. Um, so we will have a quick look. Bags of gems, we will search those. Uh, as you can see, they're about 740. Uh, 740 astral diamonds a piece so basically we want to buy as many as we can um, for less than a thousand so general rule of thumb I'll cycle through um, look for there's the first six uh, that I've seen in quantity and it's less than six thousand so that would probably be a good option to buy so we'll buy a few of those now this will take you um, quite a bit of astral diamonds not a whole lot um, in comparison to what you get uh, and the potential uh, amount of astral diamonds you can make from having your professions at 25. Some of these take uh, quite a while to rank up, so um, we can we can definitely uh, knock these out real quick. Um, so basically, you'll start off with bags of gems, and that'll get you <clears throat> up to I think rank seven, where you will start using bags of jewels. So I just type in bags of bag of Jew <laughs> um, and we will search that now you can see bag of jewels what's the lowest price on one of 500 national diamonds we'll go ahead and pick that one up even though looks like our average price um, ooh, there's three of them for 2000 anyways I don't need these at this level but I do want to go ahead and buy a few of them just to show you what to do with them um, but anyways um, then the bag of jewels you'll continue to use those i think until you get to your profession to level 15. that's uh, going to go through quite a few of them um, so you want to stock up um, and then we will buy bags of crystals bag of cr um and i've just bought like a hundred of these so i'm not going to buy any more um but you know, so it cost me around 200,000 astral diamonds, which isn't bad considering what you're getting. So, uh, oh, uh, anyways, so we will go to our profession. Um, let's see, what's a low level one for me? Artificing. <clears throat> now, the only way you can see if uh, see these is if you actually have the bags. So I actually just bought uh, some bags of gems, which I did not pick up um, so let's grab those I already have a few um, but uh, I've been knocking this stuff out um, I was able to get what three three to rank 25 over the weekend um, I just haven't really worked on anything other than leadership um, since I've started playing uh, so it's time to do some catch-up work with the relic weapons uh, or with the um, <clears throat> Sea of Moving Ice weapons available um, now, <laughs> some of the, the reagents that you need to refine that stuff you get um, from having these professions at 25. But anyways, so um, you may have to do, oh, no, no, you don't. Get your, you'll have to hire your first, uh, first guy, or if you've got a few professions packed, you'll already have someone for artificing or whatever, but. Anyways, once we get to look level two, um, basically you select that task um, that costs the bags of gems right here, um, and you hit start. Now, the important thing about this is that those only take 10 seconds to 
to complete. So you leave a few spaces unlocked and boom, there's 55 artificing experience. Um, so that only took 10 seconds, whereas if I were doing it the other way around, here's 15 minutes, I gotta check it every 15 minutes just to get 25. Um, and looks like I, um, at rank three, I was doing the rank two, rank three is the 50 experience. But anyways, um, so we'll start and then I'll choose another one. Click X, start, click X, start, choose another, keep it going. And I basically will just keep oscillating, um, through these claim, claim, claim. Our rifting is now rank six claim. Oh shit. I picked the wrong one. You'll do that. Maybe if you're as uh, retarded as I am, you will do that. But, uh, I tend to try to be careful, <laughs> but sometimes, unfortunately it doesn't happen. So anyways, um, I can tell that I have ran out of those bags because I have my filter set on high task with unmet requirements. So the fact that it is not in here, and actually if you didn't even have that uh, selected, um, it would not show up. You have to have the bags for it to show up. Um, so anyways, um, I suppose I'll buy a few more just to um, show you guys in real time rather than be like, oh, well then after blank this amount of work you get here. Um, so we'll go ahead and buy a few, um, get it up to where we unlock the next level so you can see where that's at. We'll buy a shitload. Um, let's see, let's buy, there's 27. All right, we'll take 27 of them. All right, now we'll go to our mailbox, claim those, and begin again. Um, so, bag of gems, bag of gems. And that also explains why I accidentally upgraded my crucible instead of doing the bag of gem missions. Uh, and boom, done, done. Now every time it gains in level, um, it will jump um, and jump off of where you what you have selected. Normally, if you haven't completed a level, it'll just every time you click on artificing, it'll go. As soon as you click over, it'll go right back to the bag of gems. That's how I'm able to span through span through them so quick. Um, but when you do gain level, it will jump uh, and show you what is available next. Um, and so sometimes that can accidentally mess you up or knock off your flow. Um, so uh, be careful. Oh, look, we just increased to rank seven. Now we have switched two bags of jewels. And as you can see, each one of these is worth 330 experience. So it's an exciting time for artificing in the neighborhood of Doom Stronghold right now. So we will completely convert over to our bags of jewels. Um, and actually we'll get a few of these rocking and rolling because I don't need bags. Oh, we ran out of bags of jewels, um, which is fine. Uh, I don't plan on actually doing artificing right now. Uh, I just wanted to show you at what level that it switches over and what I meant by using the, the different bags. But basically at rank seven, it is going to switch over to bags of jewels in which you'll need bags of jewels. Um, and you'll want to switch because those are going to be worth a lot more XP to 330 every 10 seconds. Um, now you'll continue to use bags of jewels until I think um, rank 12, um, in which case you'll switch over to um, bags of crystals. Uh, they cost just a little bit more the bags of crystals a lot of times people make a mistake and don't realize their value i guess and put them in there for really cheap um that's what happens when you take the suggested retail price of the auction house you gotta investigate anyways um so i'm gonna go ahead and use the rest of these bags that i've got now even though they're only worth 50 xp i'm not going to even remotely try to sell them back um, 
because uh, I don't want to. Um, no other reason. Um, but now when you get to rank 12, I think it's rank 12. It's either rank 12 or 15. Oh, we maxed out. We ran out of those bags. So, but as you can see, we went from, I think, rank 3 on our Art of Fisting to rank 9. Um, and that is awesome, considering we've only been talking right now for about 5 minutes. Um, but once you get to rank 12 or rank 15, whichever one it is, you'll switch over to the bags of crystals. Bags of crystals are going to net you 1,200 experience every 10 seconds. So you can literally cycle through those menus like we just did and pop 1,200 XP every single time rather than waiting 12 hours for each 12 XP or 1,200 XP. Now once you get to rank 22, they're going to start being worth um, 2,000. So, um, and I'm currently working on weapon smithing because I need um, the mana plaster for my artifact weapon. And as you can see here, I got these bags of jewels or bags of crystals and my net um, experience for every 10 seconds is 2,200 experience. That is insane. So we are going to do it right now. Um, so let's go ahead and get our weaponsmithing from rank 22 to rank 25. And like I said, I bought a shitload of those. It cost me about 200k, but it's worth it to me um, to get it done. So I'm just going to keep on spamming these. Collect. Spam. Collect. Oh, shit. Be careful, because <laughs> I almost spent 71,000 Astral Diamonds uh, jumping the gun on a, on a mission that I accidentally messed up and selected earlier. Um, so, as you can see, we just went up to rank 23, and it takes 40,000 uh, experience, man, to get to the next level. After rank 20, I believe, it's 40,000 experience every time. Um, and actually, this mission, or these um, tasks with these bags of crystals, it's actually the most XP you can get that I know of. Um, if I were to go down through what's available, um, there's not even a, a single mission or a single task under weapon, weapon smithing that's going to net you that much experience, let alone within 10 seconds. So I encourage you do not sell your, um, don't sell your professions packs. Use those shits. Um, keep them for yourself. Be greedy. Um, because it will pay off in the long run. So sometimes doing a little something for yourself now um, will benefit you and your guild in the long run later down the road. Oh, rank 24, and we're about to cap it off here shortly. We're at 35, 5,700 experience, 7,900 experience. Um that every click of the button is 2,000 XP. Um, but yeah, I, did, I guess some of the stuff that is just kind of common knowledge, I guess, for me, or what I would think would be common knowledge, uh, a lot of people um, are surprised by uh, a lot of things. So I, from now on, anytime I come across something that uh, not a lot of people know about, I am going to be posting those videos on here, and I have quite a few of them. Um, already so if you play neverwinter um even if you're not a scourge warlock dps like me i know i make a lot of stuff for the warlock class oh no need to spend any more gems i know i make a lot of stuff for the warlock class specifically that's because i'm a warlock warlock for life um but um i do have quite a bit of stuff that will benefit more than just dps more than just warlocks so uh, and uh, my guild mates as well. Uh, so we have a lot of different kind of stuff. Everyone in the guild has access to our YouTube account, so um, we get videos from the entire guild. And now I am at Weaponsmithing rank 25, and now I can make my cool stuff. Burning long swords. I can make the pretty much the elemental artifact weapons. I can make those. Um, or maybe it's not. I don't see any enchantment slots on those, so can't be. Uh, let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, it is. Sure is. Artifact weapons. 
Uh, now scrolling down through here, uh, which at rank 25, I don't know why we would need uh, XP anymore, but um, what I'm anxious to see is my mana plaster stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot I have the filter set to not sh show me if I don't have uh, what it takes to complete a task. It doesn't show up, so let me keep going up. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, let's hide that. All right. Now we'll scroll down, and I'll show you what, I guess, the whole point of me trying to do this shit. Um, and that is this, these two fuckers right here. Um, the Bibliothal, which is in the auction house for a retarded amount of Astral Diamonds. Slake Lime, I'm sure 10 of those are going to really fuck me over. Um, sorry for the language, but uh, anyways, sometimes this game can be aggravating because, um, well, you already know why. If you play the game, you know why. Um, but that's it. That's it. Um, enjoy having your rank 25 professions. This is Darko from Doom Neverwinter PS4.